Each Sunday we ask the man to come from our congregation and tell us about how the Lord's worked in his life recently or even how he came to know Jesus Christ as a Savior. This morning, Tim Gunzenhauser will give us his testimony. Most of us are familiar with the, the verse, where there is no vision, the, the people perish. But I think sometimes we uh, don't have a full understanding or, or we, we think that we see more than than what we actually do. And, and I'm just thinking of, of the, the prophet, uh, you know, Elisha, when, when he was being besieged around by the, the king of Syria and his, his armies, and, and he had a servant, and the servant basically said, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And um, Elisha prayed and said, uh, open his eyes, ask the Lord to open his eyes that he could see. And what, well, you know, to his amazement, the Bible says there was a host, a host of heaven, chariots, uh, chariots of fire, the horse and chariots of fire on the, on the mountains surrounding him. Uh, so Elisha could see plainly that there was no danger. The, the hosts of, the hosts of, of heaven were going to protect him. And uh, this young servant, he, he didn't have that. He had the same God, uh, the same protection, but, but he, didn't, he didn't know it. He didn't see it. And I, I think oftentimes we have you know, help at, at our disposal that, that we don't recognize and that, that we don't, we don't uh, uh, necessarily see. I just think of a, a time in, in very recently, just a few weeks ago. It just um, we recently just moved around the corner from where we previously moved. When we were moving, we were, we were moving uh, a treadmill out of out of the basement, two two hundred fifty three hundred pounds, and there's four of us carrying this this thing and. We have to take it up out of the basement, and uh, we go up one flight of stairs, and we picked it up. It was heavy, but the four of us could could lift it. We go up flight of stairs, and then we have to take a 90-degree turn on a landing, up a couple more stairs, and then 90 degrees up the stairs, uh, up some more stairs into the, the kitchen area. So we get it up within five minutes. We're at the top of the stairs thinking, you know, this is, this is easy, uh, you know, no problem. Well, we get to the door, and it was that much too narrow for the door. It was just it; most of it fit through, but the part where the motor was wasn't quite going wasn't going through. So we struggled with this. At this point, we started okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll do like play like the uh, the, the couch and, and twist it and turn it and get it through there. Couch weighs considerably less than a treadmill. Um, <laughs> We, we twisted, we turned, we gouged the door and the wall, and, and I don't want to prolong it, but it was about, you know, two and, a, two and hours and 15 minutes into this, 135 minutes into this, my wife says, why don't we pray that God will help us to... Um, get this thing through the door. We're fighting with it. We took, I took some things off. I took some things apart. And, and at, at 135 minutes, my wife says, why don't we pray about this? And of course, you know, just step back and it's like, I know she's right. We didn't think about this. We just It was just a simple little task of getting this thing out of the basement. So we stop and, and pray and it's just simple. Lord, we don't know how to get this thing through there. And, and we need your help. <laughs> And I'm, this, and I'm not exaggerating on any of the times here. There was two hours and 15 minutes into it. And within two minutes, that thing is sitting on the kitchen floor. I was like, okay, yeah, why didn't we do this part, you know, a lot earlier? And it was, I don't know how we got it through. And, and you know, we're, you know, two hours and 15 minutes. This, now all we've got to do is, is go out the front door. Um, and the front door, the, the door that we made it through. Now, we tried everything. We had to move the refrigerator out of the way, open a window, and, and all this to get it. I mean, it was... But it, it's going to be easy getting it through the front door because the front door is 36 inches wide, and the door we just went through is 32 inches. So we, we go up there, and it's like, it's not going through. It's like, okay, so I'll just take the door off real quick. And then I just... I just 
Well, I was still in my uh, my realization of of prayer, and it's like, why is it not going through a door that's four inches wider than we just got it through? And so we just stopped. I did I prayed again, just well, Lord, what should I do? And then, I, um, then just like I won't say uh, words from heaven, but hey, why don't you look and see if there's they have something like that on YouTube on how to get it through the door. As silly as anything, a quick little YouTube video, maybe six screws here and maybe six or eight screws there, and that thing came apart real easily. And, you know, so why didn't I pray on minute one instead of minute, you know, because had I taken it apart in the basement, it would have just went right up and... It was a simple job. But I say it, it, it's, it is funny, and it was funny at the time, not, not while I was trying to push it up from the, the basement. That wasn't funny at all. But um, just looking back on it is like so often we will fight with things, and it's, it's, it's right there. It's so simple. There's no miracle that got that through the door. I don't know. The 32-inch 30, the door, it might have been a little bit of a miracle because I don't know how that thing fit. But... Um, I wasn't getting it out of the 36 inch door. We pray, God, we we struggle with things a lot longer than we need to. And if if I had prayed at minute one instead of minute 135, then maybe the Lord would have said, "Hey, just watch a YouTube video," and I could have taken the thing apart in the basement, and it would have taken us 10 minutes to get it out of the house. But instead, it took us two and a half hours to get it. And, and we, we fight with things all of our life. How often are we like like Samson who didn't know the power was departed from him? We're, we, you know, we think that we have the strength within ourselves or the power or the ability within ourselves. So we don't pray about simple things. Oh, I'll be able to do this. I've done it a hundred times. You know, Samson, always he was able to break those cords and, and all of these things. But could he not see that that was the Lord that gave him the strength? Could, could Samson not see that? Could Samson not see the host that was around him when he was holding the jawbone of, of the donkey, killing those Phil Philistines? He thought it was him doing that. And, and I think that it, it's so easy for us to, to not have... Not, we think we see, but we don't necessarily see. Mm -hmm.